what's up guys so i just wanted to do a quick youtube video about the twin flame journey i do twin flame updates for other people i teach the twin flame process i know you know i know a lot about the process and journey only because i've been chosen you know i have this higher knowledge i just know but anyway sometimes we can be a bit blinded by our own journeys so i was really 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 sure about this guy my friend tim who i went to college with we reconnected last summer it just all connects because i manifested the connection i was like okay you know i wrote it i didn't even remember it first of all i got a spiritual message that he was my husband or divine partner or whatever and then i got um you know, I, I I dismissed it. Not dismissed it in a way that I didn't care, but I dismissed it in a way that, you know, I had stuff to do. So I was working on my book or whatever. It just wasn't something I was willing to invest in at that moment. But we would keep in touch over the years. Most likely, mostly he would just text me periodically throughout the years and we would connect. I'm like, oh, when I come to Chicago or when I come to Atlanta, you know, just small stuff like that. Finally, um, we had reconnected one summer. Earlier that year, my vision board, my vision book, I just wrote, you know, connection with my divine partner. Lo and behold, we connected. It was powerful connection, you know. When you connect with your twin flame, it's like instant chemistry. It's a feeling. It's it's spiritual. It's, you know, it's more than sex. It's spiritual. When it feels a certain way, you can feel it. And it heightens everything, including sexual, sexual energy. Just period. Energy is heightened with that person. But if they're going through demons, that could also have an effect on you as well. And how balanced each other is has an effect on the other so i was heavily in balance on spirituality he was in balance as well in his life and um in the material aspects of it but anyway i i was so sure this was my person so when we separated a lot of things happened i won't tell everything but a lot of things happen and then we stop talking and we'll start talking again and we stop talking it's just part of the journey i got to a point of acceptance like okay this is my twin flame this is my divine partner but we're not going you know it's just happening the way it's supposed to happen i'm okay with it i got stuff to do i'm trying to manifest my business i'm trying to manifest a lot of things my gifts are heightening I, i'm connected to spirit i i'm connected to an all-knowing power like it's you know it's lit so i was just trying to build myself the thing is, <laughs> there is a twist now in my twin flame journey. Um, so I was so sure, like even I would ask, like, when is taking so long to manifest this new life that I sacrificed for? And I would get Tim. The answer would be Tim. And I'm like, why Tim? Then I would also have dreams about him, and I just really felt like there was one time where his spirit traveled to me in a dream and tried to have sex with me. But, you know, a lot of people may not understand that part, but I it was real to me. It really felt like his spirit traveled to me in an attempt to have sex with me. And I was like, do you feel that, Timothy? Do you feel like he like, and he still didn't feel it. He was like, no, I'm just here to have sex or something like that. He said, anyway, I think that was the last dream about I had about him. But I had lots of dreams about us coming together and about his him and his family and what he was dealing with, and it was just crazy. But anyway, now I am not even so sure about the journey. I am I'm not the journey at him. I'm just not so sure about him anymore and that's just weird to me because i literally write about this i literally teach this how can i get something in my own journey wrong or how can i be unsure about something in my own journey so i just did a reading on it because i'm like spirit i'm this is the person i've talked to about before i'm getting you know all the twin flame the lovers the six of you know i get these cards two of cups you know these partnership cards the marriage the unification and i and it it was about him what i thought so what happened it's like i can see it like what happened what you know where is unification when is it coming or whatever so anyway i get these cards 
and it starts off with the Wheel of Fortune. So that is showing me a change was made. Then we have the Seven of Swords and the Emperor. He's an Aries, so it's like, but this is saying a change was made and he's decided to focus on what's important because he is the patriarch in his family. He is the father figure in his family. He wanna build a solid foundation for him and his family. He wants to focus on being the provider, being the protector, being the person he's supposed to be for his family. So he focused on what's important. I haven't talked to him, so clearly that doesn't mean I'm not what's important for him. Then we have the Page of Swords and the King of Cups. I feel like that's referring to me. Standing up for what I believe in, putting my message out there in the world. And King of Cups, Libra Scorpio, I'm a Libra Scorpio Cups. So I think this is all alluding to me putting myself out there and putting my communicating my message and standing up for what I believe in and communicating what I communicated caused conflict. With the three of, um, with the five of wands and the three of cups combination is causing conflict. It caused some type of conflict. I don't know in his partnership. And then you have the seven of pentacles coupled with the nine of swords and the ten of swords. So he decided to end it. He decided to end it, even though he felt some kind of way about it. But he's putting himself last and building a harvest, building abundance, building again a solid foundation financially. He's building for himself and his family and putting himself last. And so if he's putting himself last, that means I'm being put last as well. And the bottom of the deck energy is the moon clarified by the chariot. And that's just alluding to his destiny. It's meant to happen this way. So I'll just like... <sighs> all those readings, all those dreams... All that energy put into like this is a person that I think about this every day or my mind every day and I'm not I'm a I can think about you and I call you I can think about you and delete your number I can think about you and I talk to you you know I'm that's just who I am and I can stop thinking about you too but it's like this is it's hard to get this person out of my mind and then now another person has entered my life and it's just like re-entered anyway it's like some it's like <laughs> How did I get my own journey so wrong? Or I, maybe it's not even about getting it wrong, but it just opens the door for me to explore many different options as it pertains to the twin flame journey. Like your divine partner is your divine partner, or is it? Does it change? Because free will is free will. But does it change? Can you change? or? you can decide not to be with your divine partner and life will still go on wonderfully as it is life is not over at that point anyway i just wanted to update on my twin flame journey and also see if there is anybody out there that understands or connects because i was so sure about him and, and life isn't you know this isn't like the end all be all and then the other bottom of the deck energy when I move those is the page of wands, which is acting, which is having an idea or having a passion on something, but not acting on it. So yeah, that's crazy. Um, anyway, if you see this video, do you relate? Because I was so sure about him, but now I'm not so sure about him. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, let me know what phase you are in in your twin flame journey and your divine partnership and also if you've been wrong and how did you feel about that and did you feel misled by spirit like i'm just like what was the purpose of all this is what's of that connection if we weren't gonna come together not that's not to say that we won't in the future but it's like what was the purpose of all of it and why do i have to think about him every day and when he thinks about me too he told me so it's like, what was the purpose of the connection? Did it lead me to more like? It did lead me to more understanding of my own unification of the divine masculine and the divine feminine energies. So he certainly helped me. But guys, what do you think? Peace.